Hello, boys, and welcome back to my blind playthrough of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020, a blind playthrough. In the last episode, we left off uh, trying to do some stealth and helping out some extra characters, and we found and helped out Yoshi in this area for doing some stuff, which is really fun. Um, Actually, not sure if we fully helped her or not. But anyway, we uh, unlocked a couple of stuff now, including passes to some of the new areas in Tokyo 2020 map, as well as unlocking stuff in um, a couple of our areas. And from there, we're kind of just going to explore again. This area is pretty massive. It still might take a while, like, at least several more videos to complete this. And we are talking to everyone. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building is their observation desks are free. I used the many I saved on souvenirs. The government works from top tower and way up high in the tower two observatory rooms from where you could look out the city how far above the ground are these observatories turn in two meters the observatories are free to enter they're open most days even weekends in fact they're only closed two days of every month Ooh, it's nice to know okay. do you know about the event space in the tour Metropolitan Government Building. They might be doing something there. <clears throat> the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building is amazing. It looks like it could be Dr. A-Man's secret base. Right. Tokyo is the cow of Japan. Did you know that? Well, yeah. That one I actually... Okay, well, apparently that's a secret area that cannot be visited yet. This is not the area that we need. That's fine. It's always nice to explore because... I'm not sure if this will turn it to 100%, but I'll try to turn it into 100% if things get crazy. Anyways, uh, when we are stuffed off, we found out that um, our takeout of the special stuff is no longer an interesting thing. Instead, we have to basically get as many event medals as possible. That's what we have to do right now. The canoe spin is a speed competition held on the Sea Forest Waterway Straight Course. So, looks like we're gonna be canoeing here. You should check out the canoe event at the Sea Forest Waterway. The competitors are so fast, they'll make your head spin. In canoe sprint, athletes paddle a straight line. In canoe sound, they paddle on rapids. Which event will take place at the Sea Forest Waterway? The sprint. They literally just told me about it. And apparently it'll also have many gates to paddle through, so we have to paddle straight ahead while also moving through the gates. What event are you going to watch today, or are you going to compete? Well, we ought to compete in a minute. The Sea Forest Waterway is a facility developed in a waterway between tracts of reclaimed land. Huh? <clears throat> Many of the venues were built on reclaimed land that used to be ocean. They're amazing feats of engineering. Right, we still need to collect some gold bells. That's our plan. In the canoe event, the paddle is a single blade. The athletes paddle and balance on one knee. Ooh, that seems ominous. But anyways, oh, we found uh, our rivals right now for Aligi. Wario Bros. Well, look who it is, Luigi and Tails. Bet you want to interview us MVPs, but that'll have to wait. We're about to win this event. The canoe event is about to start, but we got bad news for everyone else. We're teaming up. And we're the best, worst pair you've ever seen. 
Yeah, we're basically a gun pair of pure perfection, which means there's no metal for us but the gold. That gold metal is as good as ours. What, you got a problem with that? Sorry, the complete desk is closed. We're here to win the gold medal too. You may be a golden pair, but Luigi I won't lose. We'll see who earns the gold medal. What? You two against the unbelievably awesome, totally rad golden pair? Bold of ya, kiddo. Still, it's about to be in session. Today's session, knowing when you're outclassed. Yeah, we ain't just taking the gold. Gold, silver, bronze, all the bells are ours. Well, actually, you can only get one. <laughs> Alright, so we have to defeat them in the canoe event, just as I fought. As the event bends, hold R to charge power, then tilt the stick down at gold to start. So, like this. Match your paddling speed with your partner to go faster. If your timing is off, you will slow down. I'm just trying to practice. When you reach the last 300 beers, it's time for the foul puss. Don't worry about timing, just paddle as quickly as you can. Alright. <clears throat> We're just gonna go for it and hope for the best because we've been uh, doing some stuff a little bit different. It just says down, really. Well, that was pretty straightforward, since it's all about timing, because obviously you can't go fast. And we got a new record, as well. Ooh, we got a new best record on that, which is cool. So that meant that we did really well. Ooh. This game, I, I really like this game so far. It, it, the, it definitely probably will get more intense when I face off against even a CPU or against our players in this. What? Well, I have chest talk and nothing to show for it? I want a do over. You need to match my pace well, EG. We lost because of you. Uh, you match my pace. We could have got way faster if your stubby little arms weren't so crumbsy. Hey, it ain't over yet, though. We still got plenty of chances to get gold medals. What? You people are collecting gold medals, too? That makes you our rivals, don't it? We can't just sit around and watch a rival take all the gold. Yo, Wario, let's pretend to help them and then maybe they'll let us borrow their gold medals later. A good plan or the best plan? Fantastic, if you ask me. Hey, if you want gold medals, then we want gold medals, then we could all work together to get them. We're all gonna join forces into the Altered Gold Super Team. We'll do whatever it takes to win. So this might be our rivals, they have uh, joined us in our party as well, which is pretty nice. Yeah, the more the merrier, but those two, they must be up to something. Hey. Oh. 
Oh, that's right. Bowser Jr. said he was gonna search for Gobels too. I wonder how that's going. <laughs> no point in worry. Let's just keep doing our thing. Hey. It's crazy how we were just going on a wild goose chase to do other stuff. Now it feels almost just like uh, we're playing the 1964 thing or 1964 lap. Like now all of a sudden we have to get Gobels in this game as well. And we already have a cup already had a couple from the beginning and now we're just collecting even more now. Right. Yeah, Misho Park is a great place to sit back and relax. The Yumanisha Park Archery Field is a gorgeous facility. There's so much bright greenery. The Olympic Games Tokyo 2020, the preliminary that means early rounds of archery, will take place in an interesting venue. What is it? A multi-purpose coliseum. Apparently an Ola field. There's a good and marina apparently. There will not be disturbed at all. Okay. Interesting. Have you been to Shibuya? There's always tons of people at Shibuya crossing outside the station. Ooh. Got so quiet during the competition that I hesitated to even take a breath. Now I'm all tired. Oh. Tickets for all the events are in high demand, so it's difficult to get them. Mm. With Dream in its name, I thought the initial arc archery field might be a venue for Dream events, but I guess not. Hey, Kid Junior's back. Oh, I mean Bowser Junior. That's my nickname for a Bawe. Sometimes I call him Hinjir. Hey, it's you guys. You're looking for gold medals too, right? Did you come to win the gold medal in the event here? You bet we did. Ah, uh, tons of gold medals already. Let me see yours. Looks like you've got a pretty good amount. Let me count them. Whoa, hey! <clears throat> These are mine now, thanks. Who has the time to win them in the events? Oh, we're gonna challenge him for sure. Luigi's right, we're not gonna let you get away with that. Kinda tail boy, I'm gonna bring these back to Amen Niga and take all the credit. Man, you are impossible. I'm gonna teach you some matters. Well, stay right where you are. Whatever is all the fuss here about? What is going on? That sounded, uh, very interesting. Also, we have just been warped into another chapter. <clears throat> A message from 2020. Oh, that means our friends from the, uh, real world are trying to send us some messages, apparently. Let's keep an eye on things and see what they're up to. Right, when we last left them, they're trying to figure out what Bowser and Dr. Eggman are trying to do. The check using the gold bells to go back to the real world only works right here. Uh, right under the Olympic Cauldron. What should we do with the gold bells here? Watch very closely. Oi! Some slots have opened up, so we have to put them in here. The These circular indentations in the wall are keyholes, you see. Keyholes? We place gold medals into the indentations. The secret code will be activated, and you could go back to the real world. Well, that's how it works. It doesn't matter how many gold bells you have if you don't know about this. Hey, for the summary, gents. Pretty elaborate stuff, and now Sonic finally uh, comes out of hiding. Sonic and Mario, too? Hmm. Hasn't anyone told you that eavesdropping is rude? 
<clears throat> the whole secret's out now. And two were pretty obvious with all that sneaking around, huh? So the the gold medals go here, huh? Yeah, now we know how to use them. We just need the gold medals to get home. So one is the secrets out. I suppose we've got no hard choice. Well, win the events and gather gold medals before you. Yeah, we're gonna score every last one of them and go then go back home. <clears throat> we're heading to another venue for our next event. You better not get in our way. They really want those gold medals, don't they? <laughs> yeah, you're right. If we snooze, we lose. We've got to win these gold medals before they do. How tall was the cauldron which held the Olympic fame at the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964? Approximately two meters. That's huge. The cauldron was made by Japanese craftsmen who specialized in imho, a ta additional technique of metal casting, huh? Oh, and yeah, I, I probably I didn't mention this, but in case you didn't know, not only does this uh, map uh, remind us of the 1964 map, but in addition to it, you've already noticed that Mario and Sonic don't work the same. Mario uses his NES sprite from Super Mario Bros. 1, and Sonic uses his sprite from the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Same for, goes for Dr. Eggman, and... Same goes for Bowser as well. They also use their original sprites in this, which I think uh, fits the theme pretty well. We already did a lot of stuff here, so it looks like we're going to be doing more stuff. So you came, did you? Fine then, I'll take you on, Sonic. Be ready, because we're pulling out all the stops now. We're the ones who are going home. Fair enough, we'll just get a tiny bit serious and breeze right into the wind. The 10 meter platform. Oh! You will select a dive when steady on a platform with each of them having their own set of commands. I need to figure out which one's the easiest. Ah, oh, so this is button imp honey one. My least favorite. <clears throat> And go enter the first command to begin the guy. If you enter the sequence quick enough, extra commands will appear. Give you a chance to earn a high score. Oh, this is the diving one. I need to react to this war. On the final dive, you may select a random dive. If you lucky, my light give. It, on the final dive, you may select a random dive. If you're lucky, you might get a high score dive with simple commands. And here are the controls. We may have to use the stick to the right, or press A, B, X, Y, L, or R in any order. Obviously, we want it to the left or right, and the button's upward, that indicates uh, what one I'm using. And looks like Dr. Eggman starts with a 59, so I have to beat a 59 to win. We'll play for this fully to see what happens. I'm gonna do this, son. The athlete is calm. Here we go. Add the somersault. Brilliant! That'll be a high score. A great score. Nice. Okay. The crowd is watching quietly. The routine begins. Very strong. And a rotation. Adds a summer. And a rotation. Nice. We got it perfect, apparently. Beautiful dive. Let's see the results. What an amazing score. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, well, now we get a random dive. Or maybe not. Hmm, I like this one better. This looks simple. We're gonna do this one. What intense focus. Here we go. We didn't add any bonuses, but oh well. Let's see the 
It was really quick, though. Is calm. Here's the dive. Very strong form. Ugh, I did not I get that again. A standard routine, and what are the scores? A passable score. This is kind of weird though. How unfortunate. It's a sad day. So, okay. <laughs> That's okay, so I do so only your top score counts. That's good to know. That's why I was waiting to see if So we need to add as much stuff as we can. What intense focus. Here we go. Add the sum this should be going for it. Amazing. What do the judges think? A great score! Okay. Wow, this has to be pretty close to perfect, almost. Oh, great. We need the simple one. Crowd is watching quietly. It's begun. The routine... Be this should net... Going for it. This should net a high score. A beautiful dive. Let's see the results. What an amazing score! I keep forgetting I could press the button. What intense focus. The routine begins. And the rotation. This should net a high score. Brilliant. That'll be a high score. A All right. Score. Finally, we Okay, there we go. We beat him this time. Since we have a score that beats him, we're gonna do random. Here we go. Very strong for going for it. Adds a somersault. Going for it. This should net a high and a rotation. Got the free times bonus. That will help out a lot. With a with a 90.0, about as close as you can get, probably. <laughs> I got a record of 7... No, that was much better. So obviously, getting those bonuses matter a lot, so the fact that I was missing them was kind of pathetic. But we got it on a second try. Sock, you really did great. Looks like you really did breeze right to a win. Man, don't give up yet. We can still turn this around. I was so sure of victory. How could I lose with all my elegance and skill? Lose to say. Could the score be wrong? Hmm. Hmm. What is this? <clears throat> oh, there's a message coming. Power up items on their way, Niga. Hey man, Niga found a way to do some stuff. It just said power up items on their way. Uh, that's the secret message, apparently. <laughs> <clears throat> Chapter 11, back to uh, the regular game again. <laughs> We're just going to swap between these a lot. Whoa, stay right where you are. Whatever is all this fuss here about? What's going on? Yeah, that could have sound only like one girl, Princess Peach. This is the archery field. None of the athletes are going to be able to focus with you making such a racket. You came all the here to compete to compete in archery, didn't you? Because if you did, you should know I'm not planning to lose. Show me all your go-bells, Princess Peach. You got a bunch of them, right? You want to see all my go-bells? Well, I suppose I could show them to you, if that's all. Princess Peach, don't! He's going to take them from you! 
Hey, GG. Oh my, really, Luigi? Look, would you guys stop running your mouse? It's like you're trying to interfere with me getting gold medals. We're trying to force them into competing. Don't worry about them, Princess Peach. All you need to do is let me see those mouse. My, what's the meaning of this? Really, Mario and Sonic are in real trouble. That's awful. And so you need gold medals to rescue them. Which is why I told you to hand over the gold medals. I know, in that case, let's enter the archery event here. And if I win, we'll use all the gold medals to rescue the boys. It sounds good, right? Uh, fine. Oh, that sounded weird. It's Daisy. Did someone say archery? I think I can win at that. I mean, I could definitely win the go. I should be more confident, right? Wow, you're good at archery too, Princess Daisy. Let's compete against each other then. I'm just as confident in my skills as you are. Alright, everyone. Watch closely and see if deserves the gold medal. And time for archery. <laughs> God shows Yoshi in the faint. Hold L to raise your bro, then hold R to draw the bow strain. Wow, that's quite a bit. Use the left stick to aim, then release the right stick to shoot the arrow. The closer the arrow lands to the bullseye, the higher the score. Doesn't show you really where you're supposed to line up with. Two could say he scores at least nine points will take your net shot a super shot. Super shot earns double the points, so I definitely want to go for that if we can help it. Ooh, we're gonna go together. Wow, so we have to hold both. Interesting. Well, that's gonna make it a lot more simpler. Alright. Freon's Tuttle. We need to get, uh... Nine point nine one. I got two nine points in my row, right? So my next one should be a super shot. My next one should be a super shot, theoretically. Nice! I got the middle on with that. Okay, I think I know how to play this game now. But I do have to be worried about the win. So I had to move it quite a bit to make it. And as a result, I missed the chance for a second super shot. But that's oh well. At least we got a good result off of that. We're ahead by about 10 points. We can win with two good shots, probably. Oh, I see. So as you get further in... It gets even further away. Oh, it's going ahead. Oh gosh, she got that, really? Okay, I had to edit it a little bit, but we got a super and tied with her, so that should be enough. 69.0. We got a bad sir on one of those, but we won anyway. This is starting to get a lot tougher now. They're making it much more challenging. 
I can also change direction at speed at any time. Ooh, that might affect lots of things, apparently. <clears throat> I did it. I won against Princess Beast. That was tense. What a great match, though. Congratulations. That was a wonderful match. I really wanted that gold medal, but you more than earned it. Whatever, I'm gonna take it. Give me that medal. But I won it, and you aren't even competing. I don't care about any of that competition stuff. I need to say my dad now. Junior, we should all work together to get the gold medals. She's trying to charm him. No matter who gets them, we can still save Mario, Sonic, and Bowser and Eggman. Takes a lot of work to win a gold medal, and they're very precious to the people who earn them, you know. So come on, stop trying to take away something people worked hard to earn. Okay, I guess I'll give these back too. I just wanted to see what they were like. Finally. Took using Princess Peach to get Kid Junior. But don't think this over. I'm gonna find somebody better than you guys and then I'll win the next Faux Bell. Uh. And so how's your junior for you? Well, what now? We don't have other, any other venue passes at the moment. <clears throat> Actually, I have a pass for the Olympic Boxing Center. In that pass, I could try my own in a boxing match. Put him up, put him up. Sweet, and on the way to the Olympic Boxing Center, we could stop by the Cameron Inn and Tokyo Sky Tree. But I suppose we better focus on the task at hand. In that case, I'm gonna come with you too. I'll help find a way to save Mario and Sonic. And Peaches now joined us. We're getting quite a crowd now. And in our and in pass. And also... Hey. Let's head for the Olympic Boxing Center, that's all he says. Eh. Oh, we got a card now. In an archery match, how many arrows can an athlete shoot? Up to 15. I just have to hold up the bow, which is heavy, then draw the arrow and shoot it all in 20 seconds. It's very tiring. None of the events in Tokyo 2020 are brand new. One of these is a mixed team event in Archer. The mix means women could be on the same team. How many of each gender is be to be on the mixed Archie team? One each. The mixed team event became an official world championship event in 2011, joining the men's team and women's team competitors. Princess Peach wears a pink dress and a crown of gold. What color of her shoes? Red. There's a pair of high heels that are very heavy, but they're usually hidden behind her lawn skirt. Okay. Good. So now, I guess. <clears throat> okay, there's the actual Tokyo Sky Tree and the Olympic Boxing Center, which we are going to go for first to continue the storyline. Some people at the Olympic Boxing Center fought my cap with headgear. Are you going to compete in boxing? The venue's right here. There's Kid Jr. again, by the way. Oxy has a lot in storied history, stretching back to the ancient Olympic Games. Goodness, Tails, get out of the way, dude. Trying to prevent me from going around, is he? It's another one of Eggman's minions. No. Back to getting in my way, uh? Doesn't matter. The boxing gold medal's gonna be mine. 
Zamek, take these guys down. Don't worry me around, I'll beat anyone who gets in my way. Arc 3, go Zarek, go. Oh, also, if you win, I'm taking the gold bell. Oh, well, fine, if you aren't, take it. I only want to do some punching and a boxing room. Hey. What's that? You want to take him on, Lee? Gee, Zarek's pretty strong, hey. though. It's gonna take more focus and timing than we and anything we've done so far to win here. Be careful. Hey. Now, I remember this uh, sort of a boxing game from the Wii version means it's probably going to be motion. Enough prattle. I'll show you what it's like to face Chew skill. This is the one I thought I wasn't able to do initially, but it looks like there is a button combination. Yep, yeah, okay. Press X for a high punch and B for a low punch. Combine these with the stick to throw hooks and uppercuts. Tilt and hold L to block high. Tilt and hold L to block low. When a super gauge is full, press R to do a super strike. If the super strike hits, you can let loose a fury of punches on your opponent. When not down, press A repeatedly to get up. You can get... If you cannot get back on the feet by the count of 10, you lose by KO. Three rounds uh, downs in a row results in a loss by TKO. Okay. Well, we had to deal with Zaz, but now we have to deal with Zavok. So, it looks like we're just using X and B in combination to do stuff. I'm just going to move the stick around and see what happens. It doesn't tell you where your um, B is. It's kind of weird. I'm kind of just mixing it up and hoping for the best. It's hard to know what uh, health they're at for a while. I kind of wasted my special when I knocked him down that early. Nice! We got the RNG for a KO and we are done. That was fun. Obviously doing the low stuff probably was not going to work the best, so I just mashed the stick with stuff and saw what happened and we won. Looks like it was pretty pathetic compared to his friend. Look at the right time for a perfect balk, knocking your opponent's guard off balance. Perfect balk, a super strike to fill your super garage, so... Technically, we could have blocked his attack, but probably no way I was going to do that on the first try. Especially considering I had to press it at the right time and with the right spot. Yeah. Of all the- I lost? Is this a nightmare? 
I can't accept a result like this. I was simply careless this time. Just you wait. Yay, you're now winning another gold medal for us. Oh, come on. Why didn't you win? Hey, Bowser Jr., we've won a lot of gold medals. Why don't you head back to Eggman Niga and check in? His analysis might have gotten somewhere by now. Maybe he's learned something new. I'm going ahead to see what's up with Eggman Nita. You all bring the gold medals. He's finally tired of trying to compete. You can never tell what that kid's up to. I know. And we can now play Zavik in boxing. Just as I thought. There's the event fame finally. For a long time, women were excluded from boxing in Olympic Games. When did women's boxing finally take place as an official Olympic event? In 2012. In the modern Olympic Games, men's boxing was adopted in 1904. It's part of the Olympic Games ever since, except for 1912. Who mentions Javit, the leader of Dr. Amen's Deadly Six in martial arts? Let's do Zik. Smart and cool under fire, Zavik's power is recognized by everyone, even his mentor. The other Deadly Six have a lot of respect for Zavik. Yeah, he didn't seem quite as strong, though, because we kind of just slapped him around. Uh, this time we are gonna go to the Tokyo Sky Tree and other spots that were here. And explore. Hi. The elevator to the Temple Tech can travel 600 meters in a minute. That's fast, faster than I can fly. Sightseeing at the Tokyo Sky Tree. I came a little earlier to enjoy the view, but I was so scared and couldn't move. What's the height of the Tokyo Sky Tree, the world's tallest radio tower? 634 meters. The number 64 could be read phonetically in Japanese as Musashi, which refers to an old name for a Tokyo area. Ooh. Interesting. Did not know that. Shy guy looks hungry to me, and uh, this guy is just doing things. The Olympic Games were held in Tokyo 56 years ago. I heard there were tons of people who came to watch them too. The Temple Deck can accommodate about 2,000 people. It's so popular that it still get crowded in fact. Construction on the Tokyo Sky Tree started in 2008 and it opened in 2012. Now it's a fixture of Tokyo's scenery. Let's head back to where Eggman Niga is to chat off things. I didn't even go oh, there. Tokyo Tower and the Tokyo Sky Tree. Do you know which one is taller? Tokyo Skyji's Temple Deck is 350 meters high. The Temple Garia is 100 meters higher than that. Okay, I already talked to that guy, but it's nice to check sometimes. Right. Now let's explore the Kamenaron, whatever this is. Yes, I do like exciting stuff, because I might find something later. There's apparently a famous food here in Tokyo called Manjanki. I'm really curious to know what it's like. Kameron, the main gate of Senjoji Temple, burned down in 1865 and was rebuilt in 1960. Uh. 
I always dreamt of eating sushi in Japan, but today my dream finally came true. It was magical. Mirak Toa is the mask of the Olympic Games 2020. Do you know what I mean? So obviously not. Internal future, huh? So all he wants us to have is a great future. It's good to know. Zonji Temple was built in the 7th century and it has a long and storied history. These guys are trying to have some fun, I guess. And I guess that guy wants to buy some souvenirs. Fire, earthquakes, etc. have destroyed the temple's main hall about 20 times. The current hall was rebuilt in 1958. Those tough looking guys at the gate are actually the famous nose statues. They look stronger than Bowser. One of the famous gates in the world is Cameron, the gate to Senjochi Temple in Akizuka. But Cameron is just a nickname. What's the real name? Oh, I'm not gonna even pronounce that. Either way, it looks really cool. I like it. Time to exit now. Well, time to continue on with the storyline some more. It's nice to do some more exploration though once in a while. Back to the gymnasium again. <laughs> Alright. Oh ho, here you are. <laughs> so what's the word here? Figure out anything on the game system? Hmm. He's just laughing. <gasps> Did you already get cracked or something? What's so funny? Oh dear me, my apologies. Oof. Her friend analysis revealed that I had gone in the wrong direction. I couldn't help but burst into laughter. <laughs> wrong direction? Or what do you mean? We thought Gavin Go Bells would help rescue Sonic and Mario. Was that wrong? That's not wrong, but at the same time, quite wrong. Yeah, I don't know what that means. As I continue my analysis, I learned. <laughs> Gold Bells needed are the ones inside the game world from Tokyo 1964. Look <laughs> closely into the game. Eggman and Bowser are furiously competing with Sonic and Mario. It seems that they know the only way home is to collecting the gold medals. Yeah. That's true, then that's not good. Dad and Eggman keep losing to Mario and Sonic. Ye yeah, pathetic. Man continues to let gold medals slip through his fingers. <laughs> Simply embarrassing. As a member of his family, I can't help but be disappointed. Dad and Eggman gonna lose? <laughs> Indeed, their loss does seem assured, which is why I decided to send them some special items within the game. Specifically power-up items, which are only fed to Bowser and Eggman. Wait a minute, how are you two doing that? I just had a bit of supplementary code within the program for power-up items. It's like DLC. What? New code? Indeed, and now I can send item data which ought to reach them inside the game. I've already sent them a little message. I just said power up items on their way, Niga. And now all I have to do is tap the transmission destination into the keyboard. The items, even those Zach Gluster too, are sure to win every last go medal. That's not fair of you, Eggman, Niga. He's finally becoming evil, huh? Well, what are we waiting for? Hurry up and send them. Here, I'll do it.
Stop, don't have our keys like that. The items won't go to the correct location. I sent the items to Dad and Eggman. Now they should be able to win all the gold medals. Woo! Well, soon we'll find out that um, they will probably go to Mario and Sonic now. The scattered items, huh? Whoa, what is going on here? Pair of items on your way again. Just said power up items on their way, Niga, didn't it? Oh. Yeah, what's that about? Power up items. From Niga, huh? Woohoo, that Niga, oh, he's a clever one. Alright, trust him to concoct a plan this devious. Hey, man, explain yourself. I don't get what's going on. Do you get it? It's Eggman Niga, my descendant. He saw us inside the ga this game and sent us a message. Not only that, but he tweeted the game program to send items to this world to help us win. No way, that... And Egan Niga has the game system now. Things just went from bad to tragic. Man, Niga has won us to use his power-up items so we can win gold medals. I'm sure of it. He's given us the chance to flip the tables. These power bombs, where are they? We must go and find them ourselves. We should split up. We'll go our own ways and grab as many power items as we can. So, for now, this band. Oh, I'm going that way. Oh, then I shall go this way. <laughs> okay, then. Mario, if those two get a hold of the power-up items, we might not stand a chance. Yeah, we can't let those two get power-up items. Let's go find them before they do. Each Olympic Games has a poster design for it showing how Asayu will be. Some Olympic Games even add more than one poster design. How many did Tokyo have? They had four different designs. Cold water makes you shiver so much that it makes it hard to swim. That's why in the Olympic Games, the dining pool must be a certain temperature. What temperature is that? At least 26 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Different in swimming or water polo. The water in those vents is between 25 and 28 degrees. This is where the old swimming events. The large and airy venue is liberating. Iloi National Gymnasium was built for the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. How many pillars support the roof of the first gymnasium? Two. Who feigns from a cable suspended across the two main pillars? Since there are no pillars in between, everyone has a good view. Platform for hive dying seems awfully high when you actually go up. I have nothing but the utmost respect for those brave people who make the plunge. I heard this venue's roof is suspended by cables. We should go and find the power-up items before Bowser and Eggman get a hold of them. I'll do my best. Thank you, I was thrilled to see the water splash, but in a 10 meter platform event, you get a high score if you make less of one. Cool. You're too late! This is Eggman Niga's gift, his power bomb. I named it the Miracle Roll. Miracle Roll? Rather clever of Eggman Niga, Sushi is the power bomb for the Tokyo Olympic Games.
Whoa. Amazing. So attack yourself, my Adad. I feel it. Power. It's bubbling up for the very depths of my very being. It's not just power either. All my senses, my brain, my fingertips, everything about me feels like I'm terrible charged. Even with something like that, you're still not going to get the better of us. You can put your ideal boost right to the test right now. Still, the miracle ball had no flavor at all. Could have twirled with the program and added flavor? It sure you like to complain about everything. Oh, you got this event, Mario. Okay, Mario, you're the man of the hour. Show him he's wasting his time with that miracle ball stuff. When you're ready to shoot, press A to call. This will launch a clay target. Your clay is launched. Aim with the stick and... A target is launched. Press... Aim with the stick and press A to shoot. Oh, you can fire up to two shots for each target. Hey, your clay target will earn you additional time. You'll also earn more time based on your current level of difficulty. During the bonus round, many clay tires will be launched one at the hour. The more time you have left, the more time you'll have to boost your score. You have to aim through the different spots. Okay, that's much better. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit better. Level up. So that's how it works. Right on target. This is a test of concentration. Fantastic game. Okay. Let's see this to the end. Still focused. Okay. This is a test of concentration. The pressure did nothing. We're now in bonus time. Will our shooter stay focused? Will this chance be taken advantage of? <clears throat> nice. Bam. <laughs> that, that, that was an easy one. 
The bonus time definitely did it for me there. I had like so much bonus time, it was crazy. That didn't seem to do anything. This is a calamity. Why, why? I had a miracle wall. Why couldn't I win? Hmm, Mario, congrats, but that was way too close for comfort. That mural stuff sounds like real bad news. More, I need more. Ingesting more miracle wells will surely make me more powerful. There's no time to waste dialing with these do-gooders. I gotta find more of them. R and get them in my belly. You're right. If Bowser were to eat a lot of Miracle Wells, two things could really be sides. We ought to chase. To find the Miracle Wells before they do. Let's hurry. When did Dr. Eggman first appear in 3D World? 1996. Then <laughs> Summit debuted in 3D together five years after they first appeared in 1991. They've been enemies for a long time. I'm surprised at how quickly the clay tie gets moving. Shooting events. It's amazing to think people don't shoot those things out of the air. There are two shooting events which use two discus targets. The discs get thrown high into the air to the air, seeing their rifles to try and hit them. Official names of these events trap and skeet. That dates all the way back to the 18th century when real birds are used. Don't worry, only clay discs are used now. It's so loud when people are shooting the clay targets. Jump whenever a gun goes off. That's why I watch from a good distance away. This venue is outside Tokyo in the neighboring per Chirsetoma. You can still see Mount Fuji for your hair. If you go to the place where the Tokyo 1964 shooting range was, there's a prize way for you there. Instead of shooting range, we'll see what kind of building. A high school. The shooting range closed in 1973. It was replaced by the old school. But there's still a sign there at the site. People will know the history. Apparently, a shoot venue is a big open space. It's present with plenty of greenery. Cool. Also, it's time to continue on to somewhere else, guys. Leave a like if you enjoy, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video where uh, I will continue doing some more stuff. Until then, bye.